I have one goal today, and that is to break your brain. All right, let me explain here. All right, this is something that is fundamental in our business. As being a real estate entrepreneur, let me tell you one of these huge landmarks that I want everybody that is seeing this, hearing this, talking about this, whatever, is I want you to get a massive deal as quickly and as often as possible. All right, let me define this. That is a $50,000 net to you, wired into your account deal as quickly and as often as possible. All right, now listen, this is, this is like one of those difficult things, right? Because first we start out and we're like, you know what, $5,000, that's a nice amount. $10,000, I've never had $10,000 in my account ever. 15, 20, 25, that seems unbelievable. I mean, that you could pay you could pay cash for a car, you could pay off all your debts, you could do all sorts of amazing things. Having that big of a five figures in your bank account is something that most Americans will never face. That's just facts, that's just stats, that's just absolutely the truth, all right? But we have the ability to do it every single week. We have the ability to do this every 90 days. We have the ability to do this monthly. It just depends on what are we looking for. That's it, because we find what we're looking for. That's what our brains do. All right, Matt, will you put up that, that image, please, on what frequency illusion is? This is so important. Frequency illusion. Take a screenshot of this. Keep this in your mind. This is like, you know, when you go and you buy a car and you see that car everywhere, or your wife's pregnant or you're pregnant and you see pregnant women everywhere, right? This is what it is. It's the frequency illusion. It's always been around. These opportunities have always been around. One more time, Matt, just put it up and let me let me be in the corner here because I really wanna go through this part right here. And it says the illusion in which a word, a name, or a thing that has recently come to one's attention suddenly seems to appear with improbable, improbable. Oh, that's a good word. I love that word, improbable frequency shortly afterwards. It's the absolute truth. But remember, look, look at this. We're in the word, name, or thing, right? The thing, what we learn, something that we learn, all of a sudden it starts opening up, right? We started learning about wholesaling. Now we see wholesaling everywhere. We start learning about the burst strategy, burst strategies everywhere. We start learning about sub two, sub twos everywhere. We start learning about creative finance and rental portfolios and development, and fix and flip. All of a sudden it's all over the place, right? Massive deals work the same. I'm gonna give you instruction here. This isn't all gonna be cerebral, all right? I'm gonna give you absolute instruction on the two things, two most important things. And then uh, my, my co-host, Rafael uh, Cortez, is going to really lay in on a couple different other strategies. It's gonna be phenomenal. But listen to this, look at this. Remember this, right? Remember this right here. This right here, this, this right here, okay? Is it blurry there? Are we good, Alejandra? Is it looking good? Okay, good. I want to make sure this is really clear. Remember, action plus results equals our education. Okay, our education, that's it. Taking the action, getting the results is the education. Once we take the action to go after bigger, badder deals, right? We start taking it, we get results. And that's our education, now we learn it. And now all of a sudden we start seeing it everywhere. But it starts with what's going on here. It starts with this question. This question, fundamentally, I'm, kind of, I'm giving you a little preview of what's to come here in the, in the show, in the first part of here. But the, fundamentally, this question has literally revolutionized my life, changed my life forever. I remember reading, reading this and going through this. It was an old Tony Robbins. I think it was like uh, The Giant Within or something like that or Unlimited Powers book or whatever. He started switching it from, you know, I can't do this or how can I afford it and all these other things. How can I do this? How can I, I can't, that's right. I can't afford it. I can't do this thing. I can't do that thing. Blockages, self-limited beliefs, shutting down your brain's beautiful, awesome power to go and find the things that you want in life. This question, if you put this at the top of one of these, 
You put this at the top of one of these things right here, and you actually answer the question, you take the time to actually think it through, how can I make a million dollars? How can I have the schedule that I always wanted? How can I get out of my nine to five dead end job? How can I have, can I, can I? This question right here is gonna just blow you away because once you start answering all of these things, all of a sudden that whole thing starts coming in, that, that, that um, uh, frequency illusion starts kicking in, frequency illusion starts kicking in, kicking in, kicking in. We start finding the answers once we get our brain to go after it. I am telling you it all starts there. If you have the expectations that you're gonna do big, massive deals and you're gonna make more per deal than you ever have before, it will happen. It will happen, I am telling you. This is how it happens. This is technical, all right? This is, this is the two steps technically speaking, that, that really, really, really determine if you're gonna make an average amount on your deal or if this is gonna be a big, massive opportunity that's gonna open up and break your brain. Because I'm telling you this, I know this to every single uh, person, every man or woman that has ever done this business, once you get something that earns you $50,000 of net profit to yourself, to your family's bank account, it breaks your brain, right? Ref? A thousand percent, a thousand percent, man. I mean, it breaks percent. your brain. It breaks your brain. It is absolutely like this is. It's it, it's changing the perceptive perception of what you think is possible. When you think ten grand is possible, okay, twenty. 50, 100, I'm looking at a deal, no joke, and I asked Alejandro to text me once I hear from George, one of my TTP family members, he's got a deal that could net me $400,000 today. $400,000! Now, I remember when I got the first check for $42,000 and my nerves went off, my brain literally was changing. I was literally shaking, I had goosebumps. I couldn't believe it. Finally, after being like so in debt, and like hand to mouth and month to month and like going through that 42,000 changed everything. That's what I want for you. You have to get going. You have to put those mental antennas focused on massive deals. All right, it starts here. Number one, they have to give you the price. When the seller gives you the price, this is where you get these big, amazing deals because the beautiful part is you get them what they want, what they expect, what they're hoping for, and it's a huge opportunity for you. So this is why on this show, on this channel, we really push you to pull out the price of these property owners as fast as possible and as much as possible. Don't just throw numbers at them if you can help it. You're gonna know, you're gonna feel it, it's gonna, your spidey senses are gonna tingle, you're gonna get this intuition, everything's gonna feel good, your belly's gonna be on fire when somebody throws out a price at you and you're like, oh my gosh, are they serious? This can't be real. This can't be real. For real, they want that price. So if I can get you the just just to make sure, if I can get you this price and this time, are you are you ready to move forward uh, and sign the agreement? Yes. Oh, I am telling you, it's one of the best days you're ever gonna feel. It makes you feel electric. It is absolutely incredible, and it can happen. I am telling you, it can definitely definitely happen. And number two is you need to have a lot of buyers because you can have the best deal in the world. But if you are, if you only have one or two or three buyers and they, they're kind of like nitpicking or they're kind of, you know, negotiating with you or they're just not really, you know, letting you know what the most that they're going to spend for this is, you know, that's going to throw off the amount that you make. So you have to build a robust cash buyer database, ttpinsider.com. I'm telling you guys. I am telling you, TTP Insider, we have the Cash Buyer Pack. You need to get it. You need to download it. You need to implement it. Cash Buyer Pack at TTP Insider. I am telling you, it's absolutely free. Just get it and implement it, and you are going to get bigger and badder deals because when people are negotiating, it's the same way on the other side. If the seller is negotiating with several buyers, your deal size is going to be much smaller, right? Well, if you have a lot of buyers on the flip side, you're the seller now. You're the one that, that's getting these deals bid up. It's absolutely incredible. So it starts with they giving you the price and then you have the buyers, all right? 
And that's what we're talking about. That is what we're breaking down right here. This is the two things you need to start really putting your mental antennas focused on getting deals that are uh, that are bigger than $50,000 and you will find them. But you need these two things. They give you the price first and you have a lot of buyers. Now, these are for big, massive deals. Welcome. Well, first of all, let me let me welcome everybody if this is your first time. If it's not, welcome to the Brent Daniels Live. We're talking about wholesaling. We're talking about real estate investing. We're talking about building wealth. And I have, it is, we are absolutely, incredibly, ridiculously blessed to have as the co-host from last week till hopefully forever, we'll see how long I can keep him here because he has done more deals than almost everybody on the planet. And uh, he has more knowledge and he's way more technical, way more analytical. So if you have that type of brain, it's really going to fit in here. And he's just an incredible guy. We call him Raphael Metro because he uses a lot of moisturizer and he's very pretty. Cortez, here he is. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> I love it. I had to make an entrance, bro. I love After it. After that intro, I had I to make I an love entrance. It. So, Raphael, so listen, I just broke down any of that, any of that you disagree with, any of that you no. want to add to. Uh, okay. Not at all. I mean, I don't. I think. I think it does has uh, like getting a big, massive deal through the door. And I know it's the same thing that happened to me when I came, uh, you know, to my first deal. Also, you know, it happens to students all the time. But it rewires your thinking. Yes. Now you start expecting yep. uh, different things. And I think beyond expectation, you start to uh, find different opportunities. If you if you wire your thinking, or if you start to pay attention of okay, this is an opportunity to come in, and you're methodical about that, you're gonna see those opportunities as you're talking to sellers. So it's, it's absolutely like it's so talk there's me, a way of getting deeper deals. Not that's just, it. And you yeah. have a strategy here that you use when you have a deal. It's it's maybe may, maybe it's a closer deal. Maybe you're you're making 10. Maybe you're making 15. Maybe you're not making anything and you need to negotiate. And you need to bring in facts and you need to show and kind of analyze the way, you know, some sellers need a lot of facts. Some sellers just e even some sellers that don't even uh, are asking for the facts. You hit them with the facts to help them understand and rationalize your offer so that it really sticks and they don't back out two days after, five days after, a week after, right? So can you kind of break down because we've got it here. So do you want to break that down the way that you do it? Oh boy. Yeah. yeah um, go ahead. Absolutely. I think first off, it's a lot of people are reluctant. To, to pull the trigger on anything because they don't understand, right? If uh, once you, you, you make a, or you take a logical approach and you explain to somebody why you're dropping that offer, why your, your, uh, your anchor point makes sense, like the people are a lot more open to having conversations. Now, uh, going back to talking about deeper, like deep spreads and, and how to build that spread, it, it's, uh, I see most people um, out there just come in and then drop an offer and see if it sticks. It's almost like, I mean, throw spaghetti on the wall, right? Mm -hmm. Like sometimes you get it, sometimes you don't, it's not fully cooked and then it falls off the wall, you know, whatever. But we have, um, I, we have a, like four ways that we build spreads into the deals on every single one of the, the seller appointments. It's the, the same approach, same method. If we get to the, uh, to the field where we're actually negotiating back and forth with the seller, this is exactly what we, what we start to implement. Got it. Um, so the first one, you want me to break them down like one, two, three, four? Or? Quickly, okay. and then uh, w r before you do, guys, real quick, remember, this show is your show. This is a question and answer show. So make sure that you're getting into the comments section if you have any questions. We celebrate successes here. I need to ring that bell. If anything, ha if, if you have whatever, locked up a deal, sold a deal, um, whatever it is, we want to recognize you and celebrate your success. But uh, so, so certainly put it in, there's no but about it. Put it in there and we want to be able to answer your questions and keep this ball rolling. At 11 o'clock, we're bring, bringing on Elijah Rubin with an incredible, incredible announcement about the Closers Olympics. If you don't know, what that is it is the super bowl for our business the top closers the top acquisition managers business owners around the country get together compete in a competition to see who is the best at closing the seller over the phone it's absolutely bananas i'm a judge on the final day on sunday it's going to be absolutely incredible but elijah's going to be here answering some questions and he's going to be able to he's going to break down what's going on with the closers olympics so get into those four things real quick and i'm going to you know obviously i'm going to be standing over here looking at what you drew up here 
Sweet. So, so the first place where we build uh, a cushion for spreads, and we call it a cushion because it's, I mean, you have a room to play, right? It's going to be uh, using the comps. Um, we don't go for the lowest of the low that doesn't seem to work you know, anymore. You want to get an average, something that's logical. Again, the key word here is having a logical explanation of how you got to your offer point. Uh, the first one is we pull five comps. We have a range from highest to lowest. So on this one, we have an example, right? $100,000 up there to a very, you know, to a low of $72,000. Yeah. Uh, on one comp. Right. This is just five straight comps um, on, a, uh, on a property that can be sold on the MLS, A or B, if it's decked out, brought to 2021 standards, you can sell it for $100,000 on the market. Okay. Right? So that's what we're looking at. Now, you're going to find ranges. Like you always have, you, you're always going to find a range of comps. So we pull five from highest to lowest, and we use the average of the lowest three to start the conversation. Right, right. The average so of what, three. So just, just to slow this down, so this is fixed up. Um, you're, you're looking at fixed up comps yeah. here. This is the ARV, and you're going, okay, the best of the best of the best in the neighborhood is 100. Right. And I think this is important to talk about because you're asking the property owner what they think it would be worth fixed up, right? Yeah. You know what Absolutely. I mean? So they are. So they say, I don't know. You're, they're saying, I don't know what, it's, what, what, what the price is fixed up, and you're going, okay, well, listen, these are the comps. So let me show you, right? And you're showing them these three comps based on – um, they're the bottom three, three of the top five comps in the neighborhood, in right. the area, whatever. Yeah, and more than li up. exactly, and more yeah. than likely, like, it's it's uh, like you're gonna f you're gonna find the properties that we go into are gonna be along that range. They're not gonna be tip top shape. They're not gonna have yeah. the newest granite countertops right. and you know all that stuff. So we take the average, and then that's our starting point. So my first goal, my first goal when I go into a, a seller appointment, we're negotiating now, is to be on the same page as far as to how much the property is worth all right so we yep. can both agree when it's fixed up yeah okay if we can both agree that the range can be you know somewhere in the average of that yeah. in this case being eighty thousand dollars i'm winning why because the highest is at a hundred thousand dollars right so now i just created twenty thousand dollars worth of play worth of cushion yeah oh i like that screen and screen matt that looks cool i hope everybody enjoys it that's really cool dude so, I, I look like a superhero yeah with my look TV at you shirt. there's Tanya. Right. there's oh, everybody yeah. okay so listen so here we go so you're you're saying okay your starting point you're saying, okay, fixed up, Mr. and Mr. Seller, do you agree that it's worth 80000 based on these co comparables? And they go, right. yes. And then you go, okay, well, then we have to take into account repairs. Right. We have to take into account closing costs. Yep. We got to take into account profit. I mean, this is my business. Right. I'm an investor. I got to put in profit here. And then this is what I can offer you. Exactly. So the, uh, the condition Love of it. the house is the second. Yep objective okay finding out what that budget is and then you know whatever working it into the deal right yep. the third one is actually showing them the numbers and that's that's you know we call it showing the numbers because we're telling them anybody who sells the property doesn't matter if it's you guys or if it's us it's going to take on some you know charges yeah like they're, they're going to have to pay fees sales fees to agents closing costs and whatnot so we budget those into the actual offer price and then we have that room for spread love it so those are the the first three ways on the acquisition side when we were buying the property yeah all right now the the magic can you go back to that uh yeah sorry to that uh screen yep thank you um so the uh the cool thing is you go through those three right so you the comps is the first one condition is the second one showing the numbers and those expenses is the third one um now you get the contract assigned now you have a deal in the pipeline you have to push it over and you have to sell the deal right yeah. we go back and we don't sell it based off of that eighty thousand number right we sell it off of that one hundred thousand dollar number right all right, to our end buyer, mm -hmm. right? Because we have one hundred ninety-five thousand dollars as a an eighty-eight as a comp. So if they come in and do a good job, they should be able to sell it at the top of the market Love price, it. right? Yeah. So we we uh, we rework the numbers, and now you're building a fourth set of profits in there, and that's how you end up with average uh, spreads of twenty-five thousand dollars on you know on a deal, like yeah. average. I'm not I'm not talking you know five thousand dollar average. Like you really bump it up let, because you're methodical. Let me ask you, it. what if the seller's like, I saw that my neighbor sold for one hundred. I think it could sell for one hundred. Then you have to go. Well, work off of that. Yeah, well, you work off of that, exactly. You I don't mean, want to tell them no. No. A anything... You don't want to tell them you're wrong. Yeah, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. You don't want to cause that friction. Anything anything you uh, you get under that 100,000 number, it's it's uh, it's a win, right? Yeah. It's a cushion 
to play around and then start the conversation from. Love but it. you want to make sure that you you uh, you start the conversation based off of you know something that you can you know actually build on, right? You know, with equity already into the deal. Yeah. So it. yeah, those are the four ways that we come in. Uh, we have this methodical approach about coming you know into bigger bigger spreads, right? So love it. If you like that video, hit that subscribe button. We come out with new videos every single day. And if you want your questions answered, like you and I, one-on-one, -on -one, make sure that you join us for the live show every single Wednesday. I will see you there.